The December 2022 DLC for GT Online now has a name and a release date. It's called GT Online Los Santos Drug Wars and it's releasing on December 13th next Tuesday. Along with this news, we got some more info on a newswire post and some official artwork, so let's go over that real quick, shall we? Starting December 13th, Los Santos Drug Wars injects a new psychoactive strain of chaos into Grand Theft Auto Online on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and PC. Head straight to Blaine County and join up with old pal Nervous Ron and a new band of out-of-state misfits on a mission to put their stamp on the Los Santos psychedelics trade. Fight off an unlikely coalition of wealthy hippies and sugar-happy bikers while cooking up potent hallucinogenics in elaborate labs or out of your own massive rolling chemistry set in the opening chapter of an expansive new two-part story update for GTA Online. Caution, Los Santos Drug Wars contains a range of wild side effects including a new business enterprise to operate, new vehicles and missions, and experiential upgrades. And this is just the first dose. Be prepared for lots more exciting events including some jolly holiday hijinks, significant story and gameplay updates, and much more to come. At the very end they have a picture of this white rabbit, which we will see again in the artwork, so I'm wondering what that is referring to. Not really too much info there, it just confirms Ron coming back. The new rolling chemistry set sounds like the Brickade Custom might actually be our own mobile drug lab. That's at least what I get from it. It could also be that RV that we saw though in the last Newswire post they made talking about this. I'm wondering where the trailer's at though. If this is as huge and massive of an update that they say it is, we should be seeing a trailer soon, I would think. Maybe it's going to debut at the Game Awards tonight, that's kind of what I'm feeling, or tomorrow at the latest. The wording for two-part story update also has me a bit more interested. This might be more narrative-based than we were used to with detail and updates. I'm hoping it's kind of on the level as the contract was in that aspect, because the contract really did feel like a story DLC, just in online, and I think the community really enjoyed that. Now looking at the artwork here, there are a few notable things, not too many though. The gun in the person's hand has a new camo on it, so I guess that confirms gun skins are coming to the game, or at least some new camouflages, something that I've been talking about for a while now. Our guy Dax here is also holding a red baseball bat, so melee weapons are included in this. Those white rabbits from the newswire are also down at the bottom, and if we look to the right side of the artwork, is that Walter White? Okay, that part I may have added in as a joke. He's not really a part of the update, unfortunately. Also at the bottom, this is something that a lot of people probably missed. That trailer is actually Omega's trailer. And we've actually been dealing with Omega for the Halloween event, so it's interesting that now that could have kind of been seen as a little hint if you think about it. Other than that though, I don't think there's anything else that's new that we haven't seen already in the artwork. It does look awesome though, as it usually does, but I'll leave it up to you guys now. Are you excited for this DLC? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more DLC coverage. If we get anything else, of course be sure to update you guys with a video. I will also be making another video today on the quite short event week, only lasting until next Tuesday, but there is an interesting mistake that Rockstar made that I will be discussing in that video, so stay tuned for that in just a few hours. And as always, thanks for watching, and have a great day.